Mr. Peters, I'm going to start with you, sir. Miss McKay was your girlfriend for a short period of time. From when to when? From middle school through on and off through 2017. Was she your steady girlfriend? Uh, for a while, yes. When was that? Uh, that was through high school. All through high school? Not all through high school, for, through about 10th grade through, I would say, 12. Well, that's high school. Yes. <laughs> when did you graduate high school? 2011. Okay, so after 2011, what kind of relationship did you have with Miss McKay? We were friends some of the time. At other times, she was... Um... Tell me about what your relationship with her was in March of this year. We had become friends again. She had come over the Just house. Just in March. Were you friends in February of this year? Were you yes, seeing each other? we were friends in February were and talking about dating. Okay, then we get to March. So what was it in March? March, we were still friends, but it had gone physical. And when was that? The beginning uh, of March? Yes, it was the beginning of March. Now, when did she buy you this phone? She bought out the phone in March, but we got the phone, the actual phone plan in February. She gave you the phone when? In February. When did you and Miss McKay stop being friends in March? Um, there was uh, just, we had stopped getting along. So uh, we stopped being friends and we were um, kind of going back and forth, but it really started getting... In March? Mm hmm Within a month of you getting this phone. That was an expensive phone, right? Yes, it was. How much was it, Mr. Peters? Uh, it was $788. That's what you're suing him for, for the phone? Yes, ma'am, but it wasn't $788. How much was it? 739 with 59 cents. Today's your lucky day, Mr. Peters. <laughs> Where's the phone? Um, I have the phone. I'd like you to tell me under what circumstances the plaintiff paid $739 for a phone for you. So what had happened was originally it was under a leasing agreement that I was paying. I was paying for the phone bill, and a part of the leasing agreement, they add the money on for the phone with it. That was through February. And then there was a story that came about that, oh, Don't because... look down. Listen, oh, so sorry. far you've been looking me in the eyes. Now we're starting to veer off. Oh, sorry. Let's keep the eyes right here. Absolutely. So we started to kind of veer off a little bit by March. And she started asking for the phone just back. Just, just, I didn't hear about the phone. I heard that you bought the phone and that you were leasing it and that you were paying for it. Yes. You. I was paying for you. it, yes. Okay, and how did that change? That changed because she wanted to take it off of the leasing agreement and she wanted to take it because she said her mother had found out and she wanted to take off the company it was on. So what she said mean? because just of the... A, just a, her mother had found out about what? Her mother did not want me on her, on her plan, on her credit at all. Oh which I found and out later on. So she apologized for that, and she said, you know what, I will take the phone off the plan, I will give you the phone, and you can take it to another service, which is what I did. And then, once her and I started having personal troubles, that's when she started saying, I want money for the phone. And that's when she came to my job and demanded the phone with her friend. Did she pay for the phone? Yes, she did. And you're no longer together? We are no longer together, no. And she doesn't want to be made a fool of because within four weeks of her taking, of her relieving you of this obligation, you said goodbye. Got it? I got it. After you broke up, she came to your job. That's your counterclaim. And what did she come to your job for? She came to my job for demanding money, money for the phone. Money for the phone. Yes. And had she texted you before? Had she called you before and said, I want the money for the phone? Had she, just a second, you're annoying me. Head still. Had she texted you and asked you when you were gonna pay for the phone? Had she sent you an email? Had she called you before she came to your job? Not right before she came to my job, but prior I don't care. to, yes. Yeah, she had texted me before. Yes, and when she texted you before, it can't be too much before because we're not too much after the end of March. Do you understand? Yeah. So she texted you and said, in April, I want you to pay for the phone. Did you respond to her? Yes, I did. And what did you say? I said, yes, I will give you some of the money for the phone, but it was a gift originally. I've given you gifts. Just a second. So did you make a payment to her is uh, my question. I made a payment, a small payment to her. I did. How much? It was like $40. $739, judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you.